Hey! So for today's video, I'm going to do my February favorites. And yes, I know it's already March. I'm a little late. But I was in California. I didn't really have time. And you know, better late than never. Life motto. Live in the moment. Vlog later. Um, but let me just rant for one second. I made this video yesterday. And... The dingus that I am deleted the entire intro, so I had to do it over today, which I'm doing right now. Anyway, let's get started. Let's see, what do I want to start with? Okay, well, you guys have already seen this, but I started using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder for my face last month, and let me tell you, I absolutely love it. My opinion hasn't changed. I still think it's amazing and covers better than any other foundation that I've used without being too cakey and it stays on all day and the brush is great. I just, ooh, powdery. I just have no complaints about it. To go along with my first item, I picked up Tarte's Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Primer because um, I thought using the BB cream underneath the Amazonian clay was a little much and I wanted to go for a more bare natural look and I thought foundation on top of foundation was going to get cakey at the end of the day regardless. So I tried this out. It's amazing. It says it's pore refining, waterproof, and line filling. All of the above are completely true. My pores have literally gone from like this to this. And my lines from this to nil. Um, it's nice. It's silky. It, I don't know. It doesn't smell like anything, which is good. Um, I, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It was on the pricier side, like any good makeup. It's about maybe $35, $37, but totally worth it. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? While I was in Sephora getting the primer that I just showed you, I decided to go wild and try a new fragrance, and I picked up my third February favorite, which is Versace's Yellow Diamond. I decided to get like a little roller instead of the full-size bottle, because I wasn't really sure mm, how well I would like this one, because I've been using Marc Jacobs Daisy for like a year now, and... So I just thought I'd try this out. It was about like 25 bucks, which isn't bad at all because it's kind of a lot. And let me tell you, mmm, this is so good. Like it, oh god, it smells like kind of florally and fresh, like kind of musky. It just smells really luxurious, like a yellow diamond, like... You wear this and you're royalty. I'm going to put some on right now. Mm, I love it so much. I'm going to end up buying the full size of this. I already know. Anyway, Versace Yellow Diamond. Love it. Love, love, love it. While I was waiting in line at Sephora to purchase those two items, I suddenly found that I needed more things because while you're in line at Sephora, they surround you with all those bins of like little last minute teensy tiny cute stuff and so I decided that I needed this. Look how cute it is! It's Panda's Dream Brightening Eye Base. It's basically like a chapstick of um under eye concealer for those bags under your eyes and it's just like so cute like look at that. Mm. I love little things. Look how cute he is. Um, aside from the fact that he's super cute, it works really well. And it's like super simple to use. You just rub it underneath your eyes, kind of blot it out, blend it in, and you're good to go. This was about $10. The other thing that I suddenly needed while I was waiting in line at Sephora was this guy. It's my mini emergency kit. Mini emergency. Mini emergency. Yeah. My mini emergency kit. I had one of these before last year and completely emptied it out and then forgot about it. 
And so I guess this isn't like a new thing for me, but it's newly rediscovered. I forgot how much I really need a mini emergency kit because I'm always getting myself into like little like snares, little mini emergencies. Um, if you don't know what this is, or you don't own one, or you know what this is, you don't own it and you think it's stupid, take it all back, go out to Sephora and buy one. They're like 15 bucks, and it will be the best $15 you've ever spent. It literally has everything in it that you might need in a mini emergency. A mini girl emergency, not like a life emergency. So let's just take a gander as to what's in here. First thing, buttons earring backs, clear elastics, a needle and thread, all different kinds of thread. <sighs> wow! We have a single band-aid. We have oh, she emergency tape, it's double-sided tape so you don't have a nip slip. We have Advil nail polish remover like why would you ever need that but you know you might and you'll be glad you have this a facial tissue for any for compact a comp okay so the little packets say cute things on them also this one says oops did i open this is this dry no um so all these little packs say something cute on them this one is a facial tissue and it says a compact tissue for any issue. on my list is also from Sephora and it is Bosha's facial scrub or facial sponge rather it's called the the one I have is called the Conjac cleansing sponge with complexion clearing clay pull it out for you like look how cute that is this is literally the best facial sponge I've ever used in my life I've had it for about maybe two weeks and my skin is so much clearer, so much brighter, so much smoother. Like I cannot stress enough how wonderful these sponges are. I use it morning and night. It doesn't over exfoliate, it doesn't dry out my skin, it doesn't cause like any sort of blemishes. It's literally perfect. You just put your facial wash right on there, wet it, get it a little sunsy, and just buff, buff, buff. Let me read you guys the thingy. It says, so much honestly pick one up you can use it up to two to three months it's only $15 there are different sponges for different skin types and just please just use it just use it this is probably my favorite February favorite my favorite favorite of February moving on so the next thing on my list is Lush's Mask of Magnamenti. Um, it's packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and adukey beans. Is that what it says? Scrubby adukey beans for deeply cleansed skin. I use this about once or twice a week, and you leave it on for 10 minutes. Your face feels crazy cold, but in a good way. It's just like really refreshing 
and when you walk around your house, the air on it, it's like, like, you know when you have like really spicy minty gum and you're like, that's what it feels like on your face. So good. It's so good. Um, yeah, mask of Magma Uh, the next thing I have is Essie's, one of Essie's nude nail polishes. This one's called All Eyes on Nudes. Um, I really love nudes as a transition color in between seasons because they're not season exclusive and like mostly during the winter I'll use really dark colors like dark burgundies and blacks and plums and navies. Um, during spring I'll use like more pastel -y colors kind of venturing into the bright pinks and reds and oranges but for this like weird month where it's like I'm trying to get into spring I'm getting ready March is on the way slash it's already here but it's like still snowing outside what are you supposed to do I go for the nude it's not yeah it's not season specific and I love it and this one's just like really nice it's a cashmere matte it looks really pretty it looks really clean really reserved and I would show it to you but I haven't painted my nails in like a week and they're looking really rough and okay and the last thing on my list is Marinessa's matte finity lip rouge in color Sydney I know this is kind of contradicting what I just said about my new nail colors, but check out this beautiful, like, fuchsia, hibiscusy pink color. It's just beautiful, and it's just so saturated. It was really fun to wear on Valentine's Day or any day. I think with wearing like such a limited palette like like I usually do it's just nice to have a little pop of color here and there and this really does the trick so yeah Marinesse Matfinity Lip Rouge um oh and I totally forgot I have just one app that I want to show you that became my February favorite okay so it's called Plant Nanny it's so cute basically you grow little plants this is my devil's ivy called whale and by doing that you log how much water you drink throughout the day and it kind of like reminds you to drink water it's a like a health app but like a game so um you'll get a notification being like your plant's thirsty feed it some water and so you're supposed to drink water and then you help it grow and if you don't drink a water it obviously dies but it's just like so cute I'll show you my other plants <laughs> so this is my little plant cactus called let's see, cucumber and this is my little plant dandelion called dandy they're just so cute but anyway it's like a super lame app but I love it and since I've got it, I have been drinking more water. So that's always a perk. But anyway, those were my February favorites. I hope there are some things there that you haven't seen yet and you maybe want to try out. Out of everything that I tried this month, I would for sure try the Bosha facial sponge. And I want to say the mini emergency, but it's super lame. Um, no, I would try the Tarte Primer. That's definitely key. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully I will think of something fun to film in the next couple of weeks for you guys. Alright, thanks, bye!